Welcome back to UND.com, where we are joined now by Notre Dame wide receivers coach Del Vaughn. And you have one deep, double-digit deep core of wide receivers. Talk about how things have gone so far in camp. They've gone great. Um, the young kids have come in and uh, used the older guys as an example. Um, the older guys have been really, really good about uh, helping and, and showing them the Notre Dame way. And, and then the guys that are uh, sophomores, that sophomore class, has done a great job adjusting to our new offense. Rather than me mention specific names, I will leave the initial question along these lines up to you. Who do you want to talk about right now? I, I want to sum it up, you know, in terms of the group. You know, I, I don't want to point out one guy because each day um, guys are going into the locker room, putting on their equipment the same way and going out and, and putting in a good day's work. Um, so so overall, I'm very pleased. And as you mentioned, depth, I do have a lot of depth. Uh, we're not done with camp yet, but um, I think that I'm going to be able to put a number of guys on the field and they'll all be productive. All right, so you can put it on me mentioning some guys, but I'll take my lead from Coach Kelly. One guy that Coach Kelly has singled out all year, of course, has been EQ, Equinemius. He's had an outstanding camp. Uh, the thing that, that I notice most is as I put reps, repetitions into practice and his number, I haven't pulled back at all. He hasn't slowed down. He's been outstanding. He's been fast. He's been accurate with everything we've asked him to do, and, uh, and that's special to see. There are a couple of graduate transfers in this program, and mm -hmm. I go to practice two or three times a week, and those guys, both of them, are getting a lot of reps. Yes. Um, when you look at, you know, uh, why we brought those guys in, uh, we knew that they would be fast. We knew that they would be mature. Um, and there's days that, you know, it looks like there's a track meet out there and guys are getting vertical in a hurry. Um, Freddie and Cam uh, have been great for us. You know, Cam understanding the offense, Freddie adjusting to our offense, and uh, every day I'm pleased with watching them. And how much of an advantage does Cam have in that he basically, or in, in that the, you guys have worked with him and you are running the offense in large part that he saw at Arizona State? Yes, he's, uh, he's transferring some of the verbiage uh, but for the most part, he feels very comfortable going out and executing our offense. He understands uh, the timing of when we call, make calls and plays that we want to use in certain situations. Uh, and it's just special to have a guy like that that can share that information in the locker room with the rest of the group. And before people read too much into that, the verbiage is very similar. And you guys have made some adjustments to the yeah. base offense that Coach Kelly was running when you guys arrived here. So how has that uh, combination worked so far? I think it's been great. I think it's been uh, uh, a great opportunity to to keep some of the, the, the fundamentals in terms of the offense in place for the players that have been here. Uh, Coach Long's done a great job of kind of sprinkling in some of the things that we've done in the past. Um, so between the two and the time that we've had, we've really put it all together. And I don't think that we've made a lot of mistakes here recently. You know, we're starting to really click. And, uh, and I think, you know, that explosive offense that we're anticipating is really coming together. The tempo is very high, and with that tempo, really, when game week comes out and the first official depth chart is released, mm -hmm. how much is that going to matter with the number of plays you'll be running and the number of guys, quality guys, really 11 guys that you have right. who can play at this level? I think it's important to have a lot of volume of you know, players. What's going to happen is if we send a guy deep, we're going to send fresh legs in. And the guy that goes in is going to be someone that's going to do the exact same thing. So, um, so that's a good thing about having that depth. We can send a guy deep. Uh, he can come out. He can take a playoff. The next guy that goes in is going to give you quality reps, and we can still go super fast with the next guy. If I'm a typical corner, I'm a little worried because when I look at your roster, and if you add Alizé Mack into that mix at tight end, you can put four guys on the field at receiver positions who are all 6'2 or taller and three of them 6'4 or taller. That's kind of tough for an average size DB to cover. Yes, you you got to decide if you're going to put a, a big secondary if you have it available or if you're going to bring in extra linebackers, extra safeties. Um, we're going to have some weapons and some strengths that we're going to utilize from week to week. So uh, with that size that we have, I, I don't think that uh, a team in the country is going to have that available. 
Between St. Brown and the graduate transfers, you have that veteran leadership that maybe you weren't sure you had until the two transfers came on over. And how important will that be? Brandon Wimbush, enormously talented, very mature, but he hasn't played that much. How much is that kind of leadership at receiver going to help Brandon? One of the things that we're going to focus on is, is not creating any chaos around uh, Brandon. We want to make sure that we're assignment perfect, um, that we have poise, uh, and let the quarterback uh, continue to grow as he progresses through the season. He doesn't need to get us lined up. He doesn't need to, to coach us. You know, that's my job. That's our job to take care of, of our responsibilities. And I think that if we can do that, then he can sit back and, and, and see what Coach Long wants or Coach Reese, and then we can execute the offense. Dell, thank you for the time so much. Okay, no With Coach Dell Alexander, I'm Jack Nolan reminding you this training camp report brought to you by our friends at St. Joseph Health System.